Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I will be talking about northern bobwhite quail. Just as a fun fact, if you don't know, I own northern bobwhite quail. If you live in New York and have a New York State domestic game bird breeder's license, you can own them. Most of this footage from different sources, which will be credited. Adult male northern bobwhite quail have a white chin and white stripes on his face. Females, on the other hand, have tan in place of the white. Juveniles all look the same because their tan or white markings haven't developed yet. You can start to tell the gender of a fledgling at around five weeks, but it's easier to tell a couple weeks later. There are 22 subspecies of the northern bobwhite quail, which include the rufous-bellied bobwhite, black-masked bobwhite, and many more. Most females and subspecies look the same, but males vary. An adult bobwhite weighs five to six ounces, which is roughly the same as one cup of sugar. The oldest recorded bobwhite quail were six years, five months old. Northern bobwhite quail like to live in brushy areas such as roadsides and wood areas. Their range goes from southern Michigan down, taking up all of the southeastern states. The range goes down to eastern Mexico and even to Cuba and Haiti. During snowfalls, northern bobwhites depend on wood coverings, fallen trees, etc. to prevent snow from blocking their foraging habitat. The northern bobwhite quail is described as a bobwhite song and also a poor bobwhite. When bobwhites are juvenile, they will practice their calls and peep. Northern bobwhites can be found in large groups with 3 to 20 individuals. The group eats in the early morning and in the late afternoon. At night, bobwhites roost on the ground or in trees in a tightly packed circle with their tails pointing outward. Normally the group is calm, but in breeding season males will fight to attract females in which the dominant male, or the winner, gets the female. Both genders perform courtship displays. Originally scientists thought that they were Montgomerys, but they actually have multiple mates in one season. Northern bobwhite quail sometimes intermingle their eggs with ringneck pheasants and domestic chickens. Both the male and the female choose a nest site in low vegetation or the ground, usually 65 feet from an opening of the road or field. The male and female scrape out a hole in the ground, usually 6 inches in width and 2 inches in depth, and line it with grass and dead vegetation. Their nest can be woven into an arch to hide the nest. It takes five days to construct a nest. One clutch can have seven to 28 eggs in it. If it is a very long year with a good supply of food, northern bobwhite quail can raise up to three broods. Adults will eat leaves, seeds, and insects. While chicks are mostly fed insects until six to eight weeks old when they switch over to a mixture just like the adults. According to allaboutbirds.org, arthropods can make up 5% of the male's diet and 20% of the female's diet during the breeding season. Northern bobwhite quail used to be a common North American bird, but their conservation level is steep decline. According to the American Breeding Bird Survey, from 1966 to 2014, 85% of the northern bobwhite quail population has been lost. That's 4% each year. Partners in Flight estimates a population of 5.8 million, 84% of that 5.8 million living in the United States, 11% living in Mexico, and 5% unknown. The cause of their decline is due to urbanization, wildfires, hunting, which is explanatory because over 1.7 million people hunt, and changing agriculture. Since northern bobwhite quail like to live in fields, it has become harder for them to live in fields now that pesticides are more dangerous and fatal. The National Bobwhite Conservation Initiative is a group of state agencies, conservation organizations, and hunters that are working together to help bring back the bobwhite quail. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.